Hey guys, today's free unwarranted tip of the day for bucket teeth, because they seem to be an ever challenge keeping them on. Uh, the trick that I do is I put them on the metal lathe here and make the grooves deeper. So there's a stock one. You can go as deep as you want. I just put a little bit more of an aggressive edge on them. And then the other thing you can do is take the ring. You have two hands. Put it on something like this or on the thing. Don't metal, don't bang it on your lathe. And just roll it around and get a two pound sledgehammer and beat that groove right closed. So at this point, this ring now sits loose in here or fairly loose to spec. Whereas when it sits on these, it's got some, it's being sprung open, it's under pressure. So that way it's relaxed, it's extra tight, the groove's a little bit deeper and they don't fall off. So it's something that works around here. I actually salvage all my old stuff too. I'll put them in a box, so I'll regroove the old pins and smash the old washers back closed again. There you go, this little $2 backyard tip that'll get some extra mileage out of stuff as the prices of tools, equipment, metal, and parts, and imported ground engaging tools goes up and up. So it's something to save a nickel with and keep you going without a trip to the store. All right, hopefully you'll use that.